I'm disturbed about a recent tweet from the former president that says Republicans in Congress should defund the Department of Justice and the FBI. I'm also concerned about people on this committee and their own anti-police rhetoric. This outrage, complete outrage. You're a liar. You are letting this go on. Uh, the gentlelady is no longer recognized. Well, look like Marge had herself quite a Wednesday. And you know what I realized today? Even if you watch her videos without sound, QAnon still oozes out of her. During a committee hearing today, Marge tried her very best to book a slot on Hannity tonight with fact-free rants that eventually, two hours too late, got her banned from speaking. This outrage, complete outrage, where China is poisoning America's children, poisoning our teenagers, poisoning our young people. How long are you going to let this go on? Congresswoman, let me assure you that we're not letting it go on. We are fighting this. No, I reclaim my time. You're a liar. You are letting this go on, and the numbers. Well, no, obviously. Actually, I want you to take the words of the speaker down. So, in uh, making a ruling on this, uh, it's pretty clear that the rules state you can't impugn someone's uh, character. Uh, identifying or calling someone a liar is unacceptable in this committee. And I make the ruling that we strike those words. It's a, sorry, just a point of order, it's a legitimate question. You're recognized. Are, are, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Did you move to take the words down or to strike them, Mr. Thompson? Yeah, sorry, I just stepped in. Point yeah, of uh, to take them down. That's, so that's what we did. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, my understanding is if words are taken down, that means that the the member can no longer speak in whatever the proceeding is that those words were said. Something we'd all love to see extended to, well, every time she goes to open her mouth. Now this came after scathing takedowns from both Eric Swalwell, in which he brought rather oversized receipts documenting the hypocrisy of self-proclaimed back the blue Republicans. I'm disturbed about a recent tweet from the former president that says Republicans in Congress should defund the Department of Justice and the FBI. I'm also concerned about people on this committee and their own anti-police rhetoric. This is a defund the FBI campaign effort. Again, thousands of FBI agents who work hard every day to take bad guys off the streets. In fact, after the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, someone armed to the teeth went to an FBI field office to try and kill FBI agents. And then Representative Goldman, who was on hand to remind her during another unhinged rant that protesting her dismissal under the guise of it being a point of personal inquiry is not substantiated because, well, there's no such thing. Personal inquiry, point of personal inquiry. That's, there's no, no such Stand thing. Stand by just a second. House, uh, when we strike, uh, it does terminate the time of the individual who is speaking, so. Uh, the gentlelady is no longer recognized. Uh, the chair now recognizes Mr. Ivey, I believe. Uh, can I make a point of inquiry, Mr. Chairman? You can. So the, the ruling was that because she used the word liar, um, that was taken down, which I agree with. Yes. But, but accusing... A this, statement of fact is very similar to the posters that uh, Mr. There's uh, no statement of fact. There's no statement of fact. Bullshit. There's no, there's there's no, no factual fact. basis for the statement. We're not here to debate this, okay? And the ruling was made by the chair that these previous words were not against the rules of uh, Clause 1 and Clause 4 of Rule 17. But to tell someone that they are a liar is, it, it's pretty clear in the rules. Slander is clearly covered by We're that. sitting here with a shocking lack of decorum to have a secretary, cabinet secretary in front of us who has been subject to ad hominem insults and accusations that are completely baseless. I have now counted that six of my Republican colleagues have not asked you a single question. They have used their five minutes to speechify, to accuse you of lying, to accuse you of making false statements, and what is a clear effort to try to set up, I suppose, the first step of the five-phase plan to impeach you. Well, I have a little experience with impeachment. 
And I can tell you, as well as everybody else, that there is no grounds for impeachment based on a policy dispute. And there is absolutely nothing that I've seen here today that amounts to a false statement under oath. In fact, Mr. Bishop, my colleague, in referencing operational control and that standard, stated himself that it is an objective. It is the objective of the Department of Homeland Security to have operational control, and as you pointed out, that is to allow no unlawful entry into this country. Every day that she spends in office is another day we'll look back on with the same amount of shame that Melania must possess. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.